Well, hello everyone, welcome. We're live. Was the music doubled up then for you? Were you getting two soundtracks? Because I was here in the studio. It was very strange. Anyway, welcome to Tuesday Tips Live. Very exciting to be here again, as always. It's a special one today. Well, kind of special because normally we have a topic, don't we, for Tuesday Tips Live? But that's not the case today because today it's an ask me anything. It's like what we normally do on a Thursday. And there's a very good reason for that because I have a very special guest in the studio on Thursday joining me. So that's why we're doing an AMA today because we normally do that on a Thursday. So I'm here for you guys and girls for the next half hour or so uh, to help you with your DJing and your DJ producing. I just want to help you with whatever you're stuck on at the moment. Could be something to do with your DJ gear, your music, could be your techniques, you're struggling to do something with your looping or your cues or your scratching or whatever. Could be about trying to get gigs or play live streams. Uh, and of course, it could be about promoting yourself. Whatever, I'm here to help. So for all those of you that are new, all I want you to do is subscribe to the channel. Very easy, just uh, click subscribe and click show posts first. And that means that we'll be able to tell you when we go live in the future, especially if you're watching the replay, because it means that you missed all the fun. Anything could happen and often does on these live broadcasts. So before we get going with your questions, uh, a little bit about us. We are Digital DJ Tips. We're the people behind, as I say every week, Rock the Dance Floor, the Amazon number one seller on how to be a DJ. And we're also the people behind 25 and counting DJ courses with a very big special DJ course actually launching this week, which I'll tell you about now while we wait for the, the room to fill up and people to arrive. So we have made a DJ course with James Hype uh, and it's actually going to launch tomorrow. So this is where you go. If you want to learn about James Hype, the way James Hype DJs, you want to learn to do all those amazing transitions you see him do on YouTube, then come and have a look at the James Hype course. I'll give you all the details about it, or we will, tomorrow. Uh, but for now, that's all you need to know. Just head to djtips.co slash hype uh, and put your email address in. We'll only use it for that. And we'll let you know uh, when that course goes live. You can be the first to have a look at the new James Hype course. So that is coming tomorrow. Uh, so that's our latest course. We're a DJ school, that's what we do. And because of that, I'm here to uh, help you for free uh, on YouTube, Facebook group, Global DJ Network, Facebook page, Digital DJ Tips, Mixcloud, hello to our friends over on Mixcloud, and on Twitch. So, uh, so that's us, we're here. Uh, so Dave's AMA question is, what DJ have you not met that you would like to? Wow, that's a good question. What DJ have I not met? So I've met most of my heroes. When I was promoting and DJing full time in the, in the mid 90s and 2000s, uh, I, was a, I was a promoter, I, I ran a club. So I booked all the DJs I wanted to, to see. The one who got away was Sasha. I really wanted to book Sasha. I've been in a DJ booth with Paul Oakenfold holding the door closed while he played one more record and the doorman were putting their arms through the kind of cage of the door trying to stop us, uh, which was hilarious. So I've had some scrapes with DJs over the years um, and I've got a story I just can't tell you, unfortunately, because <laughs> the people who are involved are still alive. But uh, Sasha, I'd say, I wish I'd met Sasha. Uh, so, okay, let's, uh, let's carry on with your AMAs. We're starting now. Uh, so, yep, questions, please. And not only about me, you know, I want questions about you. What are you stuck with? What's helping? Uh, what would help you if I could uh, kind of give you some advice on it today? Hello to Mixmaster G. Always good to have you here with us, my friend, in the Netherlands. Uh, hello to Hawke. Hey, hello to all our regulars. Hi to Trevor. Uh, hi to Mark. Good to have you here, Mark. Hi to Wayne. Uh, hi to DJ Pure Stacks. Greetings, Phil. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Uh, one thing I do love so much about these chats is that you guys and girls help each other. I sit and look, I watch all the comments coming in on my list here, and you're just helping each other out. You're just answering each other's questions. Uh, and it's really cool, so I like that. Martin says, started reading the book and I've been watching some of your older videos that I've missed. Great to see what I've missed. Some people don't know that, but in our book, there is a section on mixing. And in the section on mixing, uh, it's not just like kind of me talking about mixing. Uh, I actually send you off to videos that we've made that are exclusive to this book. So the book will help you if you want to uh, just watch videos of the very basic mixing techniques because most things on YouTube, most things online, even some of our courses, they assume you've got the basics right. Well, that's what the book helps you with. Uh, and you can get that book for free, by the way. If you didn't know this, uh, you just have to join Digital DJ Tips. Again, there's a URL. 
djtips.co slash joy and I'll give you a PDF of the book. You can get it on Kindle, get it on audiobooks, you can buy it in bookstores, yeah, remember that? Uh, but you can also download a PDF on us. So head there and get the book, especially if you're a complete beginner. Uh, so thank you for that, Martin. Uh, hello to Dominique, always good to have you here. Uh, can you make a video explaining in deep the Camelot rules for key mixing? There's very little you need to know. I'll tell you very quickly now. You need to analyze your music and get the Camelot key mixing notation in your files. It'll be like 1A, 12B, 6B, something like that. And then when you're DJing, you look for tracks that, that will, you want to mix with the next track where the number stays the same or the letter stays the same. Uh, and if you're going to move the number, you're going to go up or down a number. So in other words, if you're mixing an 8A track, you can mix it into 8B because the number stayed the same but the letter changed. Uh, or you can mix it into 7B or 8 or 9B. Uh, and that means that the letter stayed the same but the number changed. And that's it. You don't need any more information than that. Other than make sure you put key lock on. Because if you don't put key lock on, I'll show you on this DJ gear here. Uh, so if you don't put key lock on, these are two tracks I've got here. I've got a uh, uh massive hit from a few years ago here. Oh damn! I better put a loop on that, or else we're going to get we're going to get jammed before we even start, aren't we? Let's just put a loop on a couple of a uh, couple of beats of that. Right. So, right. Hopefully, we won't get thrown off the internet for this. Right. If I slow this down, you see that it's a lot faster and it's a lot slower, but the pitch isn't changing. That's because I've got key lock on. If I turn key lock off for that track, that won't happen. If I turn key lock off, let's just turn key sync off to start with. And I'm gonna turn key lock off. Actually, I'm gonna to have to load another track because uh, well, it's too, too much trouble to go into to explain why, but let's just load another track. Right, so let's get this track playing. And again, I'll put a loop on it because it's horrible. Honestly, it's really horrible not being able to just demonstrate music on the internet. Right, a bit of music there, right? Let's slow that down. As I said, I can slow it down and speed it up and the pitch stays the same. If I turn key lock off, notice when I slow it down and when I speed it up, and if I make the pitch range a bit bigger, it'll be more obvious. So I'll slow it down and the pitch goes down, right? If I put key lock on, it won't. Pitch stays the same. Whatever the speed of the track. So the point of that is that if you are using key matching, you need to know that when you alter the tempos of your songs, the key that you've matched up stays the same. By the way, if you're really interested in learning how to key mix, I mean really learning how to key mix with all the, uh, with all the, uh, you know, the, the nuances of it, we've got a course, uh, djtips.co slash key course, uh, key dash course. Um, just head there and have a look at that. But honestly, as long as you've got key lock on and as long as you realize that you can change either the number uh, up or down one or the letter to the other letter with the number staying the same, you'll be fine. Uh, but there are other, I don't think you actually need the letter. I think you can just move the number up and down and they generally sound okay, but it's far too far too detailed for me to go into now and explain why uh, why that's the case. But it's uh, it, it differs from how it's taught by, by people elsewhere. So that's why I don't wanna go into it now because it would take me a long time to explain. Uh, so get, have a look at the course or just have a go. Uh, but do put key lock on, that's really important. Thank you for that question, Remo. Uh, Mark says, possible payment plans for DJ courses for all our semi-employed DJs. A hundred pounds for three months or 50 over six would be a lot easier than lump sums. Uh, we agree with you, Mark. Uh, we do sometimes offer payment plans on our slightly bigger courses. So if you're looking at the complete DJ course or the, uh, the dance music formula course or our mobile DJ blueprint, they all have payment plans. Uh, but it is something we're always looking at. So we'll, uh, we'll take that on board. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, hello to Nine Iron, always good to have you here, my friend. Uh, to Paul in rainy Kent. Uh, if you've just joined us and thought, what's the topic this week? Uh, there's no topic this week, and the reason is that we are, um, we are doing an AMA today. And the reason we're doing an AMA today is that uh, on Thursday, I've got a very, very special guest joining us in the studio. So uh, that means we won't be able to have our normal question session on Thursday, so we're getting it done today. So any questions you have about any part of your DJing, just ask away, I'm here to help you. Uh, let's just go from the, uh, the bottom here. DJ Unknown says, hi Phil, I'd just like to say thank you for the information you gave last week on Larix 
to use it with Mixcloud. It works great and I'm going to do a live stream show tonight on Mixcloud at 7 p.m. Let me share this with people who uh, missed this last week because it is a good tip. Uh, so basically if you want to go live on Mixcloud, we're live on Mixcloud at the moment. Uh, I'll show you us live on Mixcloud at the moment. Here we are. Hello. All out of sync of course because there's a bit of a delay on there uh, but we're live there on Mixcloud uh, and um, if you want to go live on Mixcloud what you really need is to use a computer because you can't go live on Mixcloud from the Mixcloud app. So our, um, our uh, DJ last week uh, asked you know, can, is there a way you can do it from your phone? And there is a way you can do it from your phone. You have to go to Larix Broadcaster, L-A-R-I-X. You can go, you can search for this on the Android or the iOS store uh, and it will, uh, it will appear. Uh, and then uh, this little piece of software will basically let you put the stream key and the RTMP code that Mixcloud gives you when you go live. Mixcloud will give you, I can't show you on here now because we are actually live, but before you go live on Mixcloud, it'll give you a little code. Uh, and uh, that will uh, let you go live from your phone on Mixcloud. So uh, that's what the, we shared last week and we just shared it again. Uh, poor Jason, he's watching with a bad back from home. Uh, so uh, sorry to hear that, Jason. Uh, DJ Indy says, what DJ gear has impressed you the most, past or present? I'd say, you know, the first thing that really, really impressed me was the, uh, when I first saw a digital, well, first owned a digital DJ controller. Um, you know, it just, it started digital DJ tips. I got the, I got my DJ controller and I just thought this is absolutely amazing. I'm going to start teaching this stuff. I mean, that's exactly what happened. Uh, this was the controller I bought, the Vestax VCI 300. Uh, and it was an awesome little controller. I DJed for years on this, Lo loads of people, um, wanted help with it online, so I started helping people online. It turned into our first DJ course. So I'd say the VCI 300, really, I mean, it was such a high quality device, it really was. And it was just like using two turntables and a mixer, uh, which for someone who'd come from two turntables and a mixer, it was pretty impressive for me. The, the device that's impressing me most at the moment is this one here. Uh, I just love the little Prime Go from Denon DJ. I love it because it's battery powered. I love it because it's got all the power in it, of the Prime 2 and the Prime 4, although obviously it doesn't have all the features. Uh, and I love it because you can throw it in a backpack. I use it with, I'll show you now on the other camera. I use it with this backpack here. And this whole thing fits in that backpack along with all my other gear. Uh, and I can head off anywhere and, and DJ on battery uh, with this thing, with no laptop. Don't need to take a laptop at all. And we're about to start experimenting with a camera called Mevo, M-E-V-O, which is a little camera that actually gets online and will let you live stream without having to hook up, hook up to a computer. You just control it through your mobile phone. It could use your mobile phone internet or it can use any Wi-Fi network. Uh, and the combination of that camera and this controller, or this DJ device, uh, all in that bag, along with a few other things, means that we can head out, we don't need to pack computers, uh, we don't need to worry about any of that stuff, we can just head out, go camping, go away on a trip, uh, chuck it in the back of the car, and you wanna do a live stream, it's a 10 minute setup and you're live on the internet. I just think that's brilliant, I think this is the way it's going. Uh, and especially when this unit we're looking at here uh, finally gets a feature which they're promising, which is Dropbox, so it can connect to your own music on Dropbox, but uh, what I'm pushing them to do and what they're saying, oh yeah, we'd love to do, so I, I read between the lines and say they will at some point, is allow you to then download your own music from Dropbox directly to this unit. And that means you can keep your DJ library backed up in Dropbox forever, all nice and safe. Plug in this, log into your Dropbox, click a button and over you know, a couple of hours, it'll download your whole collection to a little SD card. This has got an SD card slot on the front. Uh, and then you've got all your music in here as well. Uh, no need for even carrying around music in that way. I just think it's really exciting. So we're looking forward to, uh, to that. So thank you for that question. Um, next question, uh, let's have a look here. This is from Eugene, who says, I'm about, I'm about ready for my first EJ controller. I'm choosing between a DG, DDJ SP3, a Hercules Impulse 500, and a Newmark Platinum FX. Any recommendations? Okay, DDJ SP3, getting old, uh, old fashioned way of doing DJ effects, still a great controller. Uh, the uh, Hercules Impulse 500, lovely looking controller, a few little quirks. 
I don't like the way that the crossfader curve is only adjustable with a switch and that doesn't let you do it more finely in the software. Uh, and it's very dim, so you can't see any of the, any of the lights in uh, bright light. But apart from that, it's a great controller. And the Newmark Platinum FX, I just love it. Very simple effects. If you want proper control over the effects, you won't get it from that. But the trade-off for not having proper control over the effects is that you have, I'll show you, I'll go and get it from over here. So this is actually the, which one shall I get? I've got them both. I'm actually getting the, the Newmark Pro FX, and the reason for that is the Platinum is at home. Uh, so this is the Pro FX. So you get these paddles here for controlling your effects. And it's brilliant, on, momentarily on. But you only get six effects to choose from. So if you want to really start using effects, you can't do it on these things. Uh, but for most people, those six are probably gonna be enough. Uh, so yeah, they're all good controllers. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go for the new Mark because it's just a really nicely built little little thing. Uh, and I'm not that much of a big fan of effects. You know, one or two is, is enough for me. Uh, thank you for the question, Eugene. Uh, Martin's been trying to use uh, his SB3 and NDX500, both on Virtual DJ, so I can use the third deck, but the NDX keeps trying to use all the decks. Is there a way to set it to a deck? I don't know is the answer to that. There probably is. You might have to set a channel in MIDI, but I don't know without trying it out uh, myself. So sorry, Martin, can't help you further uh, with that. Let's have a look at uh, what else is coming in here. Hi, Phil, do you reckon Beatport will ever bring out a streaming app like Spotify and Tidal? That'd be great for creating playlists if you use Beatport Link. They used to have one and they killed it, so probably not. Uh, I, I'd like to see the Beatport, uh, uh, you know, streaming side getting more uh, filled out because of course the good thing about streaming services is you can just listen to them in the background and when you like something you can like it and lo and behold there, there's all the music to play in your in your DJ software but I don't know if they're going to do that uh, in truth. Uh, that thing looks cute says DJ Fluffy versus Joe. Yep it is pretty cute. People just seem to love this little controller. Uh, they, they do. Um, so uh, Derek says I've got a question with the DMCA issues with streamers. Well will it also affect DJs? Uh, I've been streaming for three months on Mixcloud with no issues. No, Mixcloud's totally legal. That's the beauty of Mixcloud. It's the only platform that's totally legal. Twitch is getting really hard to DJ on at the moment. Um, YouTube, you've got to test it ahead of time, make sure all your tunes are all right. But you want to DJ on Mixcloud, it's absolutely fine. And that actually does remind me. I just want to nip over to Mixcloud and say hello to some people who are over there. Uh, Daily over on Mixcloud, nice to have you here. Says, will you have any info on the James Hype launch tomorrow? Uh, what's it about, price, etc.? Uh, and no, I'm not going to give you any more info other than to say, go there today and sign up. We will tell you everything tomorrow. Probably by this time tomorrow, all will be revealed. Uh, so it's very, very exciting. James Hype is a very exciting DJ uh, and we're very proud of the course. Uh, but no, no more info specifically on that daily. But thank you for asking the question. Uh, so let's move on then. Uh, and the uh, next question, I'm going to pick out, pluck out from all the questions coming in here, is from uh, Gike007, who says, can I play a vocal track after a vocal track, or do you say blend in one instrumental only? As long as you don't put vocals over vocals, you'll be fine, you do what you want. So the reason you shouldn't put vocals over vocals is very simple, and the best way of remembering it is like this. Most music heads for your feet. Most music that we play is to make you dance. You don't have to think about it, right? Quite a lot of the time, people on the dance floor say don't want to think, they want to forget everything, they want to cut off from the world, cut off from the horrible week they've had or whatever. I just want to chill out and dance, right? So bass lines, drums, percussion, melodies, they all fit into that category. They make you dance. Vocals, they make you think because there are words involved and that other side of your brain kicks in. What's the song about? What are they singing about? What's the emotions here? So it's nice when both sides of your brain are working, your feet are dancing and your, your brain's engaged on the lyrics, but not if you put one lyric over another because your brain, it's like having two people talking to you at once. So just never play lyrics over each other. It's the big, the big rule there. What's the easiest way to stream? Just pick up your phone and click go live. Uh, but that's not really what you mean, is it Wayne? You want decent sound quality, etc. Uh, the easiest way to stream is to uh, plug in an audio interface into your phone, something like the Evermix Mixbox. Uh, plug your DJ gear into that and the other end into your phone uh, and then get your phone on a tripod, point it at your decks and at you, then you're going to get great sound and you're also going to get uh, great, audio, uh, great visuals because your camera's on a tripod. Uh, and if you want to learn more about live streaming, because let's face it, it's all, it's all most of us are doing at the moment, right? Uh, head over to uh, Digital DJ Tips. I'll show you two resources to help you with live streaming now. Let's get the browser back on. 
Uh, head to the little search box at the top here. Tip in, type in there, go to the search and type DJ live streaming. Spell it correctly, that'll help you to get the results you want, of course, uh, and, then, uh, and then click go. And you will find uh, an awful lot of stuff there, including this post here, the ultimate guide to DJ live streaming in 2020. Uh, and this is the one you want. This contains everything you need to get started. It talks about the gear, talks about the, uh, the way we kind of worked all this out. It tells you what platforms to use. It tells you, there you go, there's the camera on the tripod. Uh, it tells you uh, about the audio interfaces. I've just shown you one of those, getting the audio right. Uh, it's got everything in it. It really do does have what you need uh, to make a good job of DJ live streaming. Accessories, uh, it's got how we do our live streams. There's me setting up my Balcony Beats live stream uh, and how to do a good job of your live stream and even copyright stuff. So it's all there. Uh, you get yourself over to Digital DJ Tips and have a look at that guide to live, live streaming. Uh, and if you really get the bug, you do one or two, or you think I need a bit more help, head to our DJ courses section, uh, go down to essential courses, uh, and then scroll down until you see live streaming made easy and have a look at the live streaming course. Uh, in here, I teach you over four hours of training, everything you need to know to do this at the pro level. So if you wanna take it further, you head over there and have a look at that stuff. Thanks for the question, always appreciated. Mark says, the book is great. I wish I had it 15 or 20 years ago, thank you. Uh, I did put a lot of my life into that book, so it's lovely to hear people enjoying it. Uh, hey Phil, I've seen a few guys using DVS with iPads. How can I do that and what do I need? You need a piece of software called, um, oh my gosh, it's just escaped, the name's escaped me. I think it's called DJ Mixer. God, you'd think I'd remember that. I, Gabor, I'm very sorry for forgetting the name of your software, but it's been a long time. Uh, and I'm now live, uh, and I always forget things when I'm live. It's game show thing, isn't it? You know, who's the president of the US? Well, we can all say that, can't we? Until we're on a game show, and then we completely forget. Uh, so if someone can remind me what Gabor's app is called. Uh, no, it's just completely gone from my head. Um, but there's an app you can use on uh, iOS and on Android. I think it's on Android as well, uh, which has got DVS built in, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, I'm going to, uh, not going to give up yet. I'm gonna have another look, see if I can find the name of it. Oh, someone will help me. You guys will help me, won't you? Of course you will. Uh, it's called, uh, oh no, it's helped me yet. Come on, what's Gabor's app called? The really, Mix Master G, you know. What's that app called? Um, someone will tell me in a minute and I'll share it with you. But yeah, that's what they're doing, I think. They're probably just using that app there because it's got DVS built in. So let's find another question. Uh, Nick's just sending lots of sunshine from, Bar from Barbados. What's the weather like here at the moment? I sit in here with this closed, all day, I never know what the weather's doing. Let's have a look at the sky. Oh, it's bright blue out there. I'm gonna leave that open. That looks nice, doesn't it? Nice bit of, nice bit of uh, autumn sunlight on my face there. Uh, I suddenly feel more awake. We'll leave that open. Uh, I've been filming, this is our studio. Well, you know, this is where we do all our filming. So I've been filming some stuff this afternoon. So I've had it all set up properly. But for these, we can have some real daylight, can't we? We can even open the window if we want. Let's get a bit of fresh air in. You might hear the old plane taking off. The uh, airport's just over there, but, uh, but anyway. Um, let's, uh, let's carry on with your questions. Having a lot of fun today. Please, if you enjoy this, will you just hit the share button? It really helps us when you hit share on these. Uh, so the next question is from uh, Michael, who just says, where's the new course, my man? I want to be an instant superstar. Well, you know, we would never promise to make you an instant superstar, even if you're someone of the caliber of you, Michael, uh, but we can promise you uh, that the new course is taught by a superstar, uh, and it's, of course, James Hype. Uh, here he is, here's the official announcement. The course is coming tomorrow, and as I've been saying all the way through this broadcast, just go to djtips.co slash hype, register, and tomorrow we will let you know when this goes live. Can't wait. Uh, so DJ Player, thank you, Mixmaster G. Yes, it's called DJ Player, not DJ Mixer. Uh, it's a great little app, uh, and it's the one that's got DBS on it. Uh, and it is on, uh, Johnny said, uh, help me out there as well. And Mark One helped me as well. Look at you all helping me. Um, so set starting tracks, says Martin. Big tune or slow build? It depends if you're doing the warm up or a peak time set. Peak time set, big tune. Warm up, it's gonna be a slow build uh, as a rule of thumb. Uh, DJ Dakonus says, in the clubs, I use a Shure SM57. Great microphone, my friend. Do you think the MV7 would work well in the clubs? I have no idea. I don't know what the Shaw MV7 is. Let's have a look at it on the internet. On Tintinet, as they say in uh, 
the UK. Uh, so it's a, uh, it's a dynamic microphone, it's a podcast microphone. Yes, it probably would work all night. This is a microphone that, uh, that, um, uh, that DJ Deckinus is talking about. Uh, yeah, it probably would. It's not on. It's probably it's got a car a cardioid pa pattern. I, I would be, I would guess it's a dynamic mic, which is good. Uh, probably overkill though for a, uh, probably overkill for a club. Um, you know, handheld mics are, have been used for fifty years for a reason, right? Uh, yeah, I've never seen anyone using a podcast mic in a in a club, uh, and that by that rule, I'd say maybe don't do it. Um, Okay, so let's move on. But yeah, I don't, you know, in theory, it should work okay. Um, the Retrick says, I've seen your video on Street... Oh, that's Mixmaster G sharing a link to something. That's cool, thank you. Uh, the Retrick says, I've seen your video about streaming on Twitch. Because of your tutorial, I started streaming on Twitch. Thank you. Oh, well, you're very, you're very uh, welcome. James says, with another round of lockdown coming, tell us about it, James, coming here as well. Uh, I've just ordered my Hercules Starlight to get me started. I love my deep house, so I'm excited to put together a few basic sets and see how I go. Awesome little controller. For those of you that don't know the Starlight, it looks like this. It isn't this one, but it looks like this one. It's a tiny little controller from Hercules. Really, really good little controller. So enjoy that Starlight in your lockdown. Let's hope your lockdown doesn't last for any longer than it has to, my friend. Uh, I've been watching your YouTube on my new Virgin box, faster broadband, says Craig. So hopefully now I can get my downloads quicker from the DJ pools. Any tips for the best places to discover old school and new trance? New trance, you'll probably find some on Zip DJ, Zip DJ pool. Old school, you're going to be buying, my best tip is to buy, um, either just buy it in DJ stores like Beatport and so on, just go and buy compilations from back in the day, or just order them on eBay, get old CDs and burn them uh, and rip them. Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, it's very cheap to get music that way. Uh, what are you using to stream with, says Northwest Audio Events. Someone always asks this on every live stream. I love the fact you can put comments on the stream. It's called Ecamm Live uh, and it's an absolutely wonderful product. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, they're really good, good people who run Ecamm Live uh, and yeah, it's a great piece of software. So this is Ecamm Live. Head to ecamlive.com and uh, have a look at it there. Uh, but it's a great piece of software. We've been using it for several years now. We used to use a piece of software called Wirecast and it was unreliable overkill for us. This is absolutely perfect for us. Kevin's confirming that yes, Zip DJ is very good for new tra new trance. Um, so uh, apparently I've indirectly answered uh, Jim's question, so that's cool. Uh, can I use the Audio-Technica AT4040 with the Rain 70? Yes, you can use any turntables with the Rain 70. Uh, and Let's get one or two. Kevin says, is that the uh, Yeti microphone you've got there? Yes, it is the Yeti uh, microphone. And it's a great microphone too, although I'm not on that one now. I'm on this one now, uh, which is this. It's the uh, little road link. And the reason for that is I can go all the way away. Hello. And it still sounds like I'm stood right next to you, right? So that's uh, to allow me to run around the studio when I'm presenting these. Uh, I think we're pretty much done here today. BPM Supreme and my go-to record pool, says Brian. Uh, how do you download free songs, says Michael. Uh, I'm going to share something with you. Michael, if you head over to this post here on Digital DJ Tips, 13 places to legally download free music. Just search legal free music Digital DJ Tips uh, on Google and you'll find this post. Uh, this is a bumper post where we go through every single place that we know of where you can get music for free. So, and also how to do it more importantly. Uh, so go ahead over there, have a look at that post. Uh, as I say, just search legally download free music uh, and our name on Google and you will definitely come up with that. Uh, Martin finds track source better than Beatport for old school. They have specific charts for old school tracks that Beatport doesn't. Thank you for that tip. Uh, oh, AT4040 is a microphone. I just assumed it was a um, turntable. Apologies, my mistake. Uh, if it's a dynamic microphone, it'll work fine with any mixer. It's only microphones that require power fed to them with phantom power that won't work with mixers. Uh, Michael says, can you send me the link? Google free legal music digital DJ tips, Michael. Uh, so um, Ro Rope is asking again, because there was an autocorrect error. Oh yeah, autocorrect errors, don't we hate them? Uh, is there a good way to use a DJ controller in Ableton using the platters? You have to, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think you can map that, you map that uh, momentum on the platters. Someone, 
prove me wrong, please, or go and tell Rope1978 in YouTube, but no, I don't think so. Access uh, to the Rave Zone, is I like your name, is planning to upgrade from the DJM600 and CDJ1000 Mark II to the DJX DJXZ. Oh, you're just telling us. Oh, good. I think you'll enjoy that upgrade. It's nice to have an all-in-one unit. Um, and yeah, we're, gonna, we're going to uh, stop now. Uh, because I have got to run off. I've got to put a video live. And the video I'm putting live is the reason we have this here today. Because for the last few days, I've been making a video tutorial, or to put it another way, a training tutorial, a video guide, a video manual to this. So it's about an hour and 20 minutes long. And in it, I go into every possible aspect of this unit here. I talk through all the features, I talk through the operation of it, I talk through all the menus. We've already done these for the Pioneer D, uh, XDJ XZ or XZ. We've already done them for the Prime 2 and the Prime 4 from Denon, but now we've done one for this one, the Prime Go. And I'm uploading this literally the second I click stop on this live broadcast, I will be uploading our 10 gigabyte, one hour, 20 minute video of this to YouTube preparing it all and in a couple of hours it should be live. So if you really just want to sit back, put your feet up, uh, grab a beer uh, and uh, watch every aspect of this. It, maybe you're thinking of buying one, maybe you've ordered one or maybe one's arrived and you don't really know how to use it. I'm here to help. Uh, I love making these big video trading tutorials uh, and I've made this new one in this week. Really looking forward to sharing that with you guys and girls. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so thank you very much, people. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed this. Please do click share. That's the important thing for us. Uh, Michael says, time to watch another video then. Prime Go is my favorite controller. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that one, Michael. You do like uh, you do like your gear, don't you? You do like your DJ gear. Uh, so, uh, so thank you very much. Um, as always, get good, get out there, people. Make the moment, make the moments, and I will see you on Thursday with our very special guest. Oh, and if you want to be among the first to know, head there, and tomorrow we will reveal all about our brand new course. Cannot wait for that. Uh, so until then, bye-bye.